It's Taker25 here. We are out here doing a farm run. I'm gonna take you around my player owned farm, show you how I've set up my farm, how I train the skill. I've got my buddy Brains here, my farming pet, all my farming gear ready. So without further ado, let's get into it. I don't want this to necessarily be a guide because we're not gonna go too in depth with everything you can do on the manor farm. However, I'm just gonna show you how I do this and it's working out for me. I get about just under 3 mil XP per week by doing this method. First of all, the first thing I did when I built up this farm was I built up all my pens from the farmer's market here. My two smalls, two mediums, and my larges. I also enabled breeding in these pens so that my chinchampas, for example, are pretty automatic. I check them every day. Right, I check this farm every day, I stay on top of it to keep my animals healthy and happy. They're breeding automatically. You might notice I don't yet have a storm barn, I just haven't felt the need for it. Uh, I only have 87k beans, that's because I spent almost all of them the last DXP week on these guys right here, okay? Supreme Growth Potions, this is what it's all about. This is how to get millions and millions of farming XP every hour. What I did was I grew Guarana trees, uh, they're fruit trees, and what these potions do is you plant the plant pot with the Guarana trees, fruit tree patch, you sprinkle a little bit of this on it, it'll grow almost instantly. It'll go through all four of its growth stages in four game, in four game ticks, so it's basically an insta-grow. So that's what I use all of my beans on during DXP, and it worked out really well last time. I do have the Master Farmer blueprints and some other unlocks here, but I basically showed you everything I wanted to in the shop. So without further ado, let's start checking on these animals. Starting with the Crystal Skill Chompas. Right when I built the pens, I just went straight to them. So there's a choice you have to make when you're doing the player owned farm. Do you want to bean the animals for beans or do you want experience by growing them to elder? I do both. For my small and medium pens, since they breed so quickly, I basically just bean them because I'm gonna have a, a full pen of them the very next day. I have two of those pens, that's what I'm gonna do. Elders reward you with um, fewer beans than if you gave them adolescents or adults. Adolescents, by the way, have the most. And these guys are kind of on a wonky schedule. You can see here I want to show you this golden chin I just got the other day. But uh, these two pens are on a wonky schedule. I have uh, the younger animals in this pen and these guys in the west pen seem to be on a different growth cycle. Without further ado, let's actually sell these over here for some beans. This one over here, Myliki, is so hard to find. She's always standing behind the well and she's very short. So, sold five animals for just over 1k beans. Uh, let's check on my spiders here in this first medium paddock. I got one egg here and an elder that I am also going to bean. 20k XP ain't too bad, but I do have a lot of uh, BXP for farming. So we are going to sell those to Rumble Guts, the spider shopper. Yes, take them all. Take them all. Now, here's, here's where the XP comes from, okay? It's your dragons. Uh, I have an adolescent here, an adolescent here. I keep these guys until Elder because they do reward a ton of experience at Elder, which you're actually about to see. Um, it's a really good idea to get rid of all of your urns before you check on the elder and gather the produce because they will fill up pretty much all of your urns. So let's do that and actually remove this elder. Just bean it. Just bean it. And uh, I'm gonna bean that guy later. I'm just gonna see if there's any more uh, elders that I'm gonna be taking out of the pen. Looks like no one's running out of food, at least not on this farm. Anachronia might be a different story. We're gonna head to the ranch out of time right after this. So you're gonna see both of my farms today. And just as I 
thought. We do have another elder here. Gonna sell that guy for beans too. These guys in this pen haven't been breeding. I would be really surprised if there was a baby in here. No. I don't know what it is. I've enabled breeding in my medium pens, but those guys just aren't breeding. I don't know what it, what's, what it is. Maybe something in the air or something not in the air. So, what I do here is I have these two dragons. They're both elders. One of them actually has... Um, a, ver a Veral perk and one has a Frost Breath perk. I have yet to receive a any shiny animals or royal dragons or anything like that. That's okay. What I what I do is the I leave the two big dragons, the elders, in the breeding pen, and then whenever they give birth to a child, I take the egg or the child adolescent or whatever and I replace them in these pens over here, and I just keep it going like that. Uh, so I might not be maximizing my XP from the player-owned farm, but that is totally fine with me. I haven't purchased any animals for a very long time. I pretty much just let the farm run itself. So we need to sell these to the Dragon Expert, and it's going to tell me that I've sold them for 3.3k beans. Not too bad. One important thing that I almost always do before I head out is I want to see what I need here. So 25 cadaver seeds, one chin. I should have held on to one of the chins, by the way. What I do automatically is I go straight to the ranch out of time. Uh, go upstairs, teleport with the mystic tree. And it's time to check on my dinosaurs. Uh, here it should tell me, oh man, food has run out in the West Large Anacronia pen. Okay, so that's not great. I just need to uh, keep in mind that I'm going to need 1k uh, raw bird meat, which is what I prefer to use for uh, my carnivores. So what do we got here? Uh, we got an adult salamander, adult salamander. I'm going to be selling those because, once again, they, they do breed rather quickly. So I have no problem selling them for beans. Plus, remember that the adolescents and adults reward more beans, but less XP. What I do is I get my XP from the Varanosaurs that I have in the medium pen, the one medium pen on Anacronia as well as the Bagrata Rexes, and I grow both of those to Elder. All dinosaurs, I grow to Elder. And we will see if we have any Elders. We probably do at this point because I've gone so long without seeing any. So once again, fill up that farming, or empty those farming urns, teleport them away, because this is going to give me a bunch of dinosaur roars, and that was like 115 XP, that's crazy. So one point, about 1.7 mil to the next farming level. I am at farming level 113 right now. Uh, and I think that was the one that ran out of food. No, it's this one. Okay, so that was kind of cool because we got another elder there. And I, we got so many elders that I actually ran out of urns. So pay attention because we have an adult here. I could gather the produce, but if you do that, you'll get a warning that says this animal's health and happiness is less than 100%, which means you're receiving 50% of the maximum XP. Do you still want to gather produce? And I say no. Um, I'd rather just check it at Elder later on, and especially this, this uh, lady here has a disease. The animal's nose is very dry. Huh. I wonder what it could be. Probably the dry nose treatment? Yes. Some of these are actually kind of uh, misleading. Like, uh, one of them will say the animal's eyes are bloodshot, and that's the only symptoms. So it's like, I went through all the options and I found out that it's the, the wooting cough one. Alright, so we have a child here, an adolescent here. Look, I'm gonna remove the adolescent. I 
and also the um, child one. We're gonna replace the other Bagrata Rexes and uh, sell those for beans. And I do need to actually come back to the Anachronia farm. Um, I'm probably not gonna put that on video. Probably do that after the video ends. I'm just gonna fill up. Um, I also use raw bird meat for dragons, the spiders. You can also use seeds, but I just use raw bird meat. Uh, yes, add the adolescent here. For salamanders, I use flax. And for chinchampas, I use woad leaves, which you can get from Weissen the Gardener in at the Falador Park. So let's add Reptar here. We are going to sell these Bagrata Rexes for beans to the Bagrata Rex buyer. Did I already? I already talked to the Salamander Commander, so. Yeah, that's not a bad haul. I mean, 200 bottled dinosaur roars, that's definitely going to be a few mil. What we can do now is actually cash in on that. But basically at this point, I'm going to buy the supplies that I need to do to get basically increase my farming reputation. By the way, I'm so, so sorry if those chinchampa sounds were really messed up. <laughs> I really don't like them. They're so, they're like nails on a chalkboard to me. I hate it. I, if there's anything I can't stand, it's the chinchampa sounds. Let's see if this works. I think I have enough for the medium request, and I do. So that was 5.5k farming reputation, obsidian charms, and a Brassica Primer. For those of you who don't know, the Brassica Primer harnesses the power of the most delicious god, Brassica Prime. It gives you a 10k, 10% XP boost when uh, harvesting from farming patches for 15 minutes. Uh, so the bottled roars sold at least, that's 1.6 mil. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how I run my player-owned farm. Maybe you've gotten some new ideas on how to do things, how to do your runs. It can be very little input, some players opt to check their farms once every week. Like I said, I do it every day, uh, just to keep all the animals happy, healthy, at their most XP. Uh, I am just remembering right now that I need to go back to Anachronia and feed my Bagrata Rexes. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content so I could produce more. And uh, yeah, take it easy.